field today as the Virginia Cavaliers welcome the Idaho Vandals today. On the Cavs, though, in for a good one on this night. Perry Jones, early on, finds the end zone. Jones played well in place of the injured Kevin Parks. He was doing everything. This time, a receiving touchdown for Jones. Michael Rocco, 20 of 30, 240 yards through the air. Turnover was a big issue for the Cavs in the first half in particular. Aaron Grimes intercepts the pass here. And Grimes was, was getting grindy. He was everywhere. Gets the fumble recovery here. Clifton Richardson can't hold on to it. Grimes involved in all three of Virginia's turnovers in the first half. However, UVA would still lead. First play of the fourth now. How about the 42-yard field goal blocked by Charles Smith? No go for Virginia. But the Cavs play some D on the next possession. Dom Joseph gets the interception in the end zone. And then Justin Hernandez blocks the punt. Daniel Micheletti picks up the loose ball, runs it in for the TD. Pretty timely play for the Vandals, but that's not good for Virginia, Dorsey. Not good at all. Seems like the operation time was too slow when somebody completely missed the block on the left-hand side. Got to get the special teams fixed if you want to play well in the ACC. Idaho went for two, and they got it. Made the game a 14-all ball game. In overtime now, third and goal from the 27. Can you believe it? David Wadford hits Dominic Terrell for the touchdown. Virginia up 21 to 14. Brian Reeder trying to respond. He hits Armani Johnson for the TD. And they decide to go for two here, Dorsey. Bad, bad decision. Bad decision for Idaho. Tries to seize the, uh, seize the moment and try to end the game right there on a two-point conversion. Going home empty-handed. Rodney McLeod there to break up the pass, and that's all she wrote. The Cavs hold on to win it, outgaining Idaho by 200 yards. Wide out Chris Bird had a lot to do with it, contributed with a career high, 123 yards receiving on eight catches. The Cavs get a week off before facing Georgia Tech on October 15th.